today we are going to see the experiment conductometric precipitation titration. The apparatus required for the experiment are burette, beaker, stirrer, conductometer, conductive diesel, and a 100 ml beaker. The chemicals required for this titration are sodium sulfate, barium chloride, and distilled water. Now let us do the titration. To do the titration, so first in the burette, sodium sulfate is filled up to the zero mark. Then 20 ml of barium chloride solution is taken in 100 ml beaker. Now the titration starts. After each ml of addition of barium chloride from the burette, sodium sulphate from the burette, the titration is done and the values of conductance are noted from the conductivity meter. Now the barium chloride started reacting with sodium sulphate from the burette. See the values of conductance which is decreasing which is shown on the digital conductivity meter. See the white precipitate formed on the beaker which shows the neutralization of barium chloride with sodium sulfate. The values are noted from the burette till the increase in conductance. The conductance values increase at a certain stage when all the barium chloride solution reacts with the sodium sulphate to form barium sulphate. The values are noted till the end point is reached. Now note the values which are increasing on the digital conductivity meter. The titration is also done even after the end point is reached to get a proper graph. The white precipitate which is shown on the beaker shows the neutralization of barium chloride with sodium sulfate. So that complete white precipitate is formed and sodium chloride which is soluble in water is not shown here. But the white precipitate only shows the barium sulfate formation. So this is the basic principle of conductometric precipitation titration. The barium chloride reacts with sodium sulfate to give barium sulfate and sodium chloride. This barium sulfate is shown on the beaker as white precipitate. 